Hey guys, I'm Juan Pobert here and this video is all about the different strategies to make an offer on a business. So let's get to it. And yeah, remember this channel is all about buying businesses, growing businesses. So if you didn't yet subscribe, like the video, comment below. And if you have any question about the topic, see in the description below. I just created a survey where you put your personal details and just literally ask me your biggest question and I'll create a personalized video for you. So make sure you you feel it in the survey below. Just put in your details and let me know what's your biggest question and I'll create a video just for you. And also um, see in the description below an opportunity to join our free business buying mastermind. It's a free Facebook group. Uh, I screen people before they join to make sure they're serious and no one's gonna spam the group. So make sure you join it as well if you didn't yet. So yeah, let's, let's get to today's video. And it's all about what are the different strategies to make an offer on a business. So if you're watching the other videos on my channel and you know, you need to put yourself out there, talk to business owners. There are many different origination methods where you find business owners. Ideally, you have a method for screening them that they are really motivated to sell and not just, uh, I guess, searching around for a potential buyer. You need to go out there, start conversations, building rapport, getting financials, signing NDAs. And now we're at a point that, okay, we have financials, maybe we build some business, uh, I guess, a business or deal structure. And uh, now it's the point of, okay, we have all that. We were thinking about what can we do with the business when we buy it? How and what are the different strategies to make an offer on that business? So this is what we're going to expand on right now. And I guess the biggest question is, and again, if you watch my other videos, you know that I suggest to pay anywhere between three to five times multiples on a business. So the question is, how do I make an offer? Do I start with the highest offer first? The, the, I, do I pay the, the best that I can? Do I give him the best offer? Or do I start with the low offer first? Do I just start, send my, my lowest offer ever and then maybe go up from there? So let's expand on that a little bit. So to begin with, let's start with sending the lowest offer ever, right? The coolest thing with sending a very low ball offer is that first of all, the seller might just expect, accept that, right? I mean, you can send an offer and worst case, you'll say yes. And that happened to me in the past. I mean, you can send a really, really low offer and maybe the seller is just like really, really tired and sick of that business. And he'd be like, you know what? Cool, why not? I'll, I'll do that. And even if he's not accepting, that offer, I guess a good thing from that is that it can be anchored by that price that you sent and you can start everything from there. And that's a good way to start as well. By the way, I'm sorry, I don't know if you, you hear noises from above, but I'm, I'm sorry if you do. I've got no idea if you can hear it in the microphone. If you do, I'm sorry. Um, I, hope, I hope you'll get value anyway. The other, the other side of the, the, I guess the offer strategy is to send the highest offer. Should we send the best offer ever? And yes, you can do that and potentially think with your mind, okay, I'm sending that, but I know in my head that this is not going to be the offer that I'm going to accept in the end because during due diligence, I'm going to find things that will basically decrease my best offer. And then I'll find out kind of like, I'll get to a point where I'll lower the price and come to a price where I, that I really want to pay for the business. So that's another strategy to go with, just paying the, the biggest, the best offer that you can and lower yourself down over time based on things that you find out in your due diligence. Another, uh, I guess, strategy for you to use is to pay well behind what you are willing to pay or, or just well behind your best offer. The reason that, people are doing that is literally just to lock down an LOI. So if you have lots of competitors, what you can do is just say, okay, this is what I'm willing to pay and sign the LOI. And when you sign the LOI, you have an exclusivity for two months at least to do your due diligence. And in that stage, no one else can compete on that deal with you. So you're basically there one-on-one -on -one with the owner, no competitors anymore. And many times, just because they did so much work with you during the due diligence, they'll be like, you know what? Okay, let's just do the deal. And you basically decline, you basically remove all competitors just by offering a bit more in the LOI. And obviously then during due diligence, you downgrading your basically your offer and getting to a point where you ideally pay what you actually wanted from the first place. Now, all those different strategies are, are fine. I mean, people are using them. I saw case studies on each. Um, they all can work. And I, I guess it's just on negotiation in life in general, not just in buying businesses. It's just about how to negotiate everything you do in life. Should you start with low, high, or, or just go for whatever you, 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 just a fair offer. And I, I guess in the end of the day, they all can be okay. It's just about what do you feel most comfortable with or what do you feel is the best um, towards a specific deal that you're working on right now. If you ask what my thoughts are, I'd say don't go with your best price, but go with a very fair price. So you'll still have a place a little bit to go and negotiate. 
Um, and again, just pick one. I think that you need to offer something fair. I just don't want to offend anyone on the other side if I'm trying to buy his business. I do want to get to a point where I do offer a fair uh, accounting valuation for his business. And then if I have a room to, to go up, then why not? I might do it if it's a win-win for everyone. Now, I guess one thing to focus on is that even if you are able to raise the price a little bit more later, and again, it's, it's more than possible that something like that can happen. Maybe you figure out at first, hey, I can just raise X amount of capital, but then after you decline, you just go out and try to raise more capital and then you come back with a better offer. But I'd say, no matter what, don't get to a point where you're sending an offer today and let's say you're getting declined and then sending the next day a better offer for like, I don't know, half a million more. Right. You see what I mean? Just common sense. Don't just show that you really worked hard to raise that price. It's just going to show, I guess, put you in a more credible state and just put you as someone who's legit and not just like, uh, I mean, when, if you're going to raise your price in a day, it just, I mean, it's just gonna, not going to look serious. Oh my God. I'm, so, I'm sorry for that noise. I really want to check up, check up what's, what's going on there and I'll, I'll, I'll keep you updated. So you remember when you come back with a second better offer, just just tell them, hey, look, look what I've done. I've done my best and here's the best offer I can. And many times even, yeah, you want to make the other side feel good. Um, on our firm, many times we don't start with a low offer just because uh, we just start with our best offer because many times we think our best offer is, is, is still maybe not too, too good. So we do our best and then it's like, okay, you either say yes or not. And it's just, we did our best. If it's not a fit for you, no worries. We'll look at a different deal. So it really depends also on the deal. That's, that's what, again, cool, cool in this space. It's like every deal is different. Every deal, like it's all on a deal by deal basis. Every deal is going to look different. The number is going to be different. The person you're going to work with is going to be a different person. And you need to adjust yourself to each specific deal. So yeah, that's it for today. Let me know in the comments below which uh, offer strategy you resonate with the most. Uh, would you offer more? Would you offer less? Would you offer just a fair price? Let me know in the comment below right now. And let me know in the description below. Just put your details and let me know what topics you want me to talk about because I'm starting to post literally daily almost and I need ideas for topics. So let me know in the uh, description below and join our Facebook mastermind if you didn't yet. Oh, and, and yeah, I forgot, to, I forgot to, uh, to say that, but if you fill the survey and let me know uh, about your biggest question, uh, we're going to give one of you guys free one-on-one -on -one business buying mentorship with me, with my partners. You'll be with, uh, with our team, literally one-on-one -on -one whenever you need and be able to do deals with us. So see the description below and, and let me know right now. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.